Yes, the taxi here. The taxi is here. Yes. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One minute. I forgot my blanket. Yes, because they charge for blankets. The flight doesn't have blankets. Yeah, so let me get my blanket. That's right. Blanket. Let's go. Is that Let's the only go. one you have? Yes, I got it from another flight. Oh, I okay. Another flight. Oh, very smart. Mm, very stylish. It's not bad. Sorry, sorry. Pick my pillow. 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 Oh. Why do you need a pillow? Because they charge. You know, it's a cheap flight. Oh. So I have it flight this thing. So this one, boom, we're ready to go. One minute, one minute. Last, last, last thing. What? Yes, one second, one second. Food. <laughs> the cafeteria might not be open. Oh. You know, it's a morning flight. Is that rice? It's rice. Okay. Rice yeah. and shrimps. Oh. My favorite. Let's go. We're going to London. Do you like my outfit? Um, Why? What's wrong? What's wrong with that? So what if somebody notices me? Uh -huh. what, what, what are you saying? That Adrian's friends, parents will see me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's nobody's business. I can dress as I like. This is okay. Uh -huh. It's to keep me warm. Please, let's be going. Okay. Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Sister to Sister. Do I look fabulous or what? All right. So beautiful comedian Monique made a statement on her Instagram and it received all kinds of mixed messages. Yes, it did. She's out in Atlanta. And she said she went to the airport. When she got to the airport, she saw so many girls in bonnets, in pajamas, in gowns, in blankets, in skirts scarves and basically it just was not her cup of tea and as we began to walk through the airport i saw so many actually too many to count and too many for me to tap but i saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets scarves slippers pajamas Blankets wrapped around them, and this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home. Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. She said, you know what? We're queens. We are queens and we should be looking as such. A lot of people said, and I do agree to an extent, that Miss Monique, you are giving us all of this advice while you're sitting in your house wearing a gown with no bra. And I agree. If you're going to give out a message like that, you have to have been prepared. You know, you know, it's social media. You know, it's social media. They're going to twist it. They're going to turn it around. They're going to tell you, you know what? You don't have no right to tell us, Missy. Not the way you dress. Not the way you're sitting up in your house with how many million viewers. And considering the fact that it kind of went viral, that you're up there in a gown with no bra. I agree. What I also agree with Monique is the message. You cannot miss the message because Miss Monique was right. I know all of you are looking at me like, Fumi, are you okay? What's wrong? Do I look okay to you? I mean, and this is in my house. You can imagine if I stepped out and went to the airport, you would have said, <laughs> Fumi, what is wrong with you? So here I am. And I said, you know what? Let me add some sisterly advice to the whole shebang. I like bonnets. I've got a lot of bonnets. I'm a bonnet girl. I love bonnets. Please do not get it twisted. I'm a bonnet girl. I love scarves. I live for scarves. 
The first present that I ever got of expense was an Hermes scarf and I became an addict. You can take a blanket to the airport because some flights are cheap where they don't give you food, they don't give you blankets, they don't give you pillows, they don't give you socks. I absolutely get it. I also, I also disagree, not only sisters, not only Atlanta, everywhere. I've traveled to over 30 countries and I've seen it everywhere. And I'm kind of sort of guilty of one or two of them. Yes, I am. I think it is everywhere. I think that uh, Monique was scrutinized unfairly. I think that you should always seek the message. The thing is, for me, Monique was at home. She was at home. Like I have been at home and I have turned on the IG stories to talk to all of you or say, guys, you know what, I'm waking up, I'm doing this, I'm in the bathroom and blah, 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 or whatever. I also understand that, but for me, you are not giving us that advice in a gown. But the point was that she was at home. You could see she was at home and her hair was beautifully cornrowed. She had no makeup on and she had her gown on. I don't know whether she was wearing a bra or not. I'm not going to go that far. But I understood the message that she was trying to give. And I have seen it everywhere. Not only black sisters, you understand? But everyone, everyone. I've traveled over the world a couple of times and I've seen it everywhere. I also understand that our hair, you know, we need to protect it and have bonnets. And I have traveled where I have put my bonnet, but I was on the flight. It was a night flight and I wore my bonnet or I wore my scarf. I travel with them all the time because when I travel, I dress ja, ja, ja. Oh yes, I love it. I love the experience. I'm a glamour queen. I'm an old school glamour queen where I loved when it was exciting to travel, where you have your matching luggage, where you dress up beautifully, you enjoy the experience. And might I add, just generally, apart from traveling, you're going to the supermarket, you're running for errands. You sometimes you see women in bonnets, you see them in slippers, because they've just had their nails done, they've had a pedicure, they've had their hair done, but you can see that they went there and they're coming from there because they're dressed. They're wearing pretty sundresses, they've got their little makeup on, they've got their bag, whatever. They're looking put together, just that the hair has been done, it's in curls, they're going for a big do, it's the wedding, it's the day of the wedding, or there's an event for the red carpet, especially when I was living in LA during award season, you saw it all the time and they were wearing all of these blowy, beautiful dresses, they were wearing beautiful kaftans, and if you live in LA, Miami, Lagos, Nigeria, Morocco, you're going to wear flip-flops, you're going to wear slippers, you can wear them, you can wear them. It is that the look has to be pulled together. You don't have to wear makeup. You don't, you don't, and I made it a point not to do so because I'm, I've styled some stuff for you guys. Yes, yes, yes. I've styled some stuff for you guys, and I want to take you through just for you to have an idea of little tips and tricks where you can get dressed in two, three minutes. That is all that you got. I completely understand. But I think what Monique meant was that the absolute sloppiness and the absolute obviousness that showed you made no effort whatsoever. When I dress up, believe you me, it's, that it's as if the world opens up to a sea of opportunities. And that is also what she's talking about. I have been cast for commercials, for film. I have been handed over like a free gift, this, that, and the other. I went to Hermès in Jouet Lapin. And I wanted that Birkin bag and I got dressed because we were going for lunch and stuff like that and the gentleman came over to me and said because I had I had asked one of the ladies do you have any Birkins because usually they have them behind you know in the back or whatever they don't bring them out so much whatever and he said are you looking to buy one I said yes he said well you're pretty you're you're looking fabulous I'll bring out a few for you to see I have been upgraded to first class so many 
times. And do you know how many times somebody has stopped me to say for me, oh Lord, I love that kaftan. I love your scarf. I love the way you put it together. I love your bonnet. I love the styling of it. And I think that is where, that, that is an option if you want it for you to have, to style it a little better. And you can just look that little better, that little fresher. For the younger girls that you're looking for a man, you can bump into him at the airport. You can bump into him as you're boarding the plane, in the supermarket, at the car wash, when you're going out with your friends. And so you have to make the effort. It's wonderful to make the effort because it is you that benefits from it. And I think that was what Monique was trying to say. I understand protective hairstyle, sleep with a silk pillow, have your silk bonnet. I understand if you're going for events, like I said, I completely understand. So in essence, I agree with what Monique said, one million percent. I also wish to send the message home because I'm dressed the way she was, like in a gown, that she had dressed up because some of you missed the message. And I don't want you to miss the opportunities that are destined for you. Because this life is all about crossroads. And it's all about sliding doors. You should watch the film. It's an old film, Gwyneth Paltrow. Watch it. Sliding doors. Where if you had reacted or acted this way, an opportunity would have opened for you in this direction. Had you not done it, you would have gone in this direction. It's so wonderful. It is such a wonderful teaching because as you do get older, you really are an auntie. You know, you are to the younger ones. And for you, my sisters, I want, the, I want it even better for you than it was for me. And I think that was what Monique was trying to say. Some of you, and I'll put it up, received it in a negative format. And that wasn't the case. It's not about black women, you know, it's about all women. But I am black, so I look at my queens. And we always want to step it up because we are queens. Queen to queen, fellow queen to queen. Queenettes. <laughs> my queenettes. Yes, my beautiful queenettes. And I, I tell you this, I understand if you're going through a bereavement, I understand if you've lost your luggage. It's happened to us in Morocco. Would you believe? Yes. Ula stuff came. Mine didn't. I was really in a gown. <laughs> For like two or three days. Then I went to go and buy t-shirts. I went to go and buy kaftans. And then later on my luggage came. So I can understand circumstances. But I styled it and I made it look cute. So we are going to go in. I'm going to style bonnets for you. I'm going to style scarves for you. And we are going to have a two, three makeup tip for you right now. Right now. Okay. So my darlings, this is what you are going to need. Let us start with the makeup, the makeup, my makeup. Pixie Beauty. Remember I got this in PR just the other day. You take it out because you don't have time for the horse and pony show. You just go over. Do you see that lovely bunch of rouge right there? You get a little bit of color and then you just dab. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. This is by um, Beauty Bakery and it is called Insta Bake. Beautiful. It's a mini size. That's it. You just put a little bit here. You put a little bit there. Voila, one and two, and you just dab. This is your prep to get ready for the airport. This is all the time that you've got. We're not doing brows, we're not doing anything. And then last but not least, Juvia's Place. You can use my discount code. You can use my discount code also for Beauty Bakery. It is Fumi. Use my lip gloss. Mm-hmm, bam, bam, bam. That's it. That is it. Is that not cute? Let's get rid of the gown. Okay. When you board the flight, 
you can just blend this all away because it's all cream and it's moist as you very well know with lip gloss it will fade when you want to land you take a compact this is by Iman I love this and you just go over your beauty blender that's it onto the cheeks this is what I do literally and that is it when I'm on the flight I take off everything and I want to relax I have my hair just so I will have my hair up because it's easiest that way when I'm lying on the headrest I don't have the bump in the back that is why 90% of the time I have my hair up and most probably you see me with my own gown but that is for me to relax I'll bring my gown I'll bring my socks I'll bring a blanket and I will show you and I will style it I will have a bonnet look at how beautiful that is I put it on just for you guys to see and there you go I'll style it like that yes I will style it like that and usually I will sleep like so that is how I will have it if you are going if you are going to the airport style style your bonnet it can still be stylish but style it so that they're like well you know girlfriend looked okay you know she had a bonnet on but she looked nice you know she did look nice absolutely you know and just style it and let it have some kind of shape and fabulosity let me put on another one for you guys so that you can see because I told I truly truly I love my bonnets I really do so let me try on this one okay and it's fine it really is fine for those of you that have scarves and I'm going to put my MS scarf collection guys for you below so you can see you take a scarf as simple as one two three you take it over like so to the side yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. so that you can have this right in here tie it bring it up bring this down and there you have it it's so easy and there you are let me just put this down so that you guys can see and there you have and you look fresh you look cute your hair is protected you can totally wear this and be fine and go and you are absolutely okie dokie <laughs> I'll show you another style yeah voila because there's so many beautiful scarves out there so many Just look and that's it you don't have to wear earrings you don't have to wear too much makeup this is it literally let me turn it around for you guys that's it what's hard in that huh <laughs> oh. and then you can take this off and then you can tie a little ribbon for your hair and there you go you know for your hair and that is it so it is just styling just styling it up a little bit and what I find with me is that it makes me feel so good because I know I look okay I'm not going to feel kind of surprised or feel like a deer in headlights if I bump into somebody that I really don't want them to see me looking the way that I do. It's embarrassing for me I'm like ooh and you cringe because you know you could have been better. Everybody is watching somebody. Everybody. No matter what you might think. Oh, do you know who I saw today? She's not all that. If you saw how she was dressed even, she looked awful. Because we are judgmental. Because we human beings are judgmental. So Monique was just trying to tell you that this right here 
is not working for nobody else but you at your own detriment at your own opportunity pool it's not working for you so i want you to revisit what she said and sincerely take it pick yourself up a little bit just a little pick up and you will see the difference so shall we go into some fashion yes 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 <laughs> okay here we go So guys, let us start with the first look. The first look, the dress is by H&M. I made sure that all of the dresses are affordable and cheap, 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 cheap. So the dress is by Zara and it's very flowy, very easy because we are traveling. So you don't want to be restricted in any way, shape or form. You want to get there. You want to have fun. I would advise that you have a lovely, fresh pedicure i love white because white always stays fresh no matter what it just matches with all of my outfits but this zebra dress i've had forever i got it at h m and i absolutely adore it the scarf is by zara and i wore it on the flight when i was coming from london to new york with baby paduski i think he was like six months at the time and so I wore that scarf and I love that scarf. It just matches so very well with the zebra outfit. And of course, I have my sandals on. And if you're feeling a little cold, you can wear a little jacket. As you can see, my darlings, what do I have? I've wrapped my blanket. I understand if they don't give you blankets on the plane. So wrap yours ever so elegantly with a black scarf, which in turn you will use when you are sleeping to wrap your hair. Yes, my darlings, just one of the tips that I've been wearing for years, for absolute years and years and years. The second outfit is by Saikoi. It's a beautiful kaftan and this is what I change into when I'm on the flight. I cannot tell you how many, how many men, women have said, where did you get your kaftan from? Where is this kaftan? I cannot tell you. So many have said for me, you look like a butterfly in air. And many times I said, you know what, who are you with? I said, I'm with my husband. Well, come on to first class. Come through, why not? We were upgraded when we went to Dubai, when we went to Thailand, when we went to Moscow. And I was wearing a kaftan. And I had my hair in a scarf, but I had my nails done. I had my little lip gloss. It was gorgeous. And the beautiful mask is by Fancy Ladies. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, my darlings, appear fabulous. Because you don't have that much makeup on, so you can go ahead and really enjoy yourself. The third dress is yellow, isn't it gorgeous? Bright summer yellow, and this is by Zara. The bag is actually by Sainsbury's. I went shopping and I had too much shopping. I didn't have enough bags, so I bought the bag from Sainsbury's because when I'm carrying my groceries, I want to look good. But I also realized that it's a lovely carry-on bag when you're traveling. Fish and chips is a huge tradition here in England. It's very much the McDonald's in the USA. You have fish and chips, they wrap it up in newspapers, you eat it with salt and vinegar. So it's a wonderful traditional fast food here in United Kingdom. And I have this beautiful lace scarf that Ula, my honey bunny, bought for me when we went to Capri. Italy and it was it's just one of the most beautiful scarves it's so gorgeous the detail is so fabulous and that's it not a problem the last my darling but not the least of many as you can see i'm showing you all flowy dresses no restrictions open to sandals i got this dress at a thrift store yes i don't know i think i must have paid 20 pounds for it maybe less 
and I loved it. The scarf, I think I got it at Accessorize. It's also a wonderful, cheap, cheap, cheap store here in the United Kingdom. And this is how I travel. Traveling with a toddler is a lot. I'm so excited to travel again. And I want you to take these outfits in mind and just loosely pick on one or two things for yourself. It's so easy to look fabulous with pure simplicity. It is not that difficult. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, my darlings. I hope you understand that you can travel, you can go anywhere. It's just a little bit here and there, just a little tweak. It's just for you to wear the right shapewear, for example. Always wear your size. If you wear a tight bra, it bubbles up on top and then it begins to jiggle. It can look untidy. It's just the little things. And I am here to give you all of the tips that I have done for myself. There's no judgment. I do not agree that you cannot wear bonnets, that you cannot wear scarves, that you cannot wear slippers. You can wear all of that. You just have to style it better. That's all you have to do. For my sisters, you're queens. For my Caucasian sisters, you're queens. I love all women. I am a sister to all women. It is a sisterhood. And we can improve better and better and better when we support each other. So I don't want you to take any beautiful, healthy criticism to heart or be offended by it because Monique was coming from a very, very, very good place. All right, darlings, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and leave all of your comments below. Okay, do we love darlings? This is uh, air mask but I deliberately made sure in this episode that there was nothing over 30 pounds nothing nothing over 30 pounds because it's not about designer it's about style <laughs> and we got it baby we got it and for those that want it it's here sweetheart I love you my darlings I love you my sisters and I'll see you when I'll see you tomorrow Mwah. love you <laughs>